piece of shit. I don't know, man. Brand new. First time using it, and it locked up on me. It butchered the wheel pretty good, but it didn't crack it, thankfully. So, made in China. I can't say much. That mill's made in China, too. But anyway... Takes care of that shit, don't it? I hope I didn't break it. <laughs> hey, it works now. Nope, it locked up again. So what exactly is going on here? Well, if you look at this starter wheel, see it's moving off center and turning around and getting jammed up. So we gotta find out what's going on in there. Oh yeah, I'd say that bushing's just a few crackers short of a full pack for sure. That star wheel is just barely hanging on there. All right, I guess we're making a new bushing. Okay, so after doing some measuring and crunching the numbers, this is the print that we came up with. Pretty basic, really. Uh, it's gonna leave us with a 10,000 inch gap between the dresser body and the cutter assembly. And that's okay because each one of these star wheels is 80 thousandths of an inch wide, so we're not gonna have a problem with it falling off anymore, that's for sure. Let's do this.
All right, we got a cut part. It's not complete yet though. To finish it off, we need to mark it to finish length, put it back in the lathe and face it to size via the cutoff side. Now we have a complete part. And you know, a part like this is probably the easiest to make on a lathe. I mean, there's just not much to it. But even still, check this out. <laughs> there's no comparison. Come on, there is no comparison. Now it's true that a finish on a part like this and what it's used for isn't really a big deal, but that part is just junk. And look at this here. What is that? Well, I can tell you what it looks like to me is the remnants of the backside of a cutoff or parting tool from the previous part that was cut out of this bar stock. And that's perfectly normal. But what I think happened here was this particular piece did not get pushed out to the material stop before the machine started the machining process on this part. As we say in the industry, it was the face tool was cutting air and we got the short end of the stick. All right, so purdy is purdy, but purdy don't make it functional. So how does it measure up to the planned dimensions? Come here, check it out. <laughs> all right, so, all right, I have to tilt this a little bit so you guys can see it because the battery's going dead. <laughs> but anyway, the T dimension, or as most people would know, the length. Uh, 484 which is right where we want to be awesome now that could have a tolerance of plus or minus five thousandths and it wouldn't be a problem but the OD outside diameter 0 0.5005 and we wanted 0.5 so we're only half a thousandths over and I could easily give this a tolerance of plus or minus three thousandths without a problem but we ain't got to worry about that either now I'm curious as to what the wall run out is on this thing. It should be at 125 and we're right there. Yeah, I'd give that, yeah, I would say it has a wall run out of less than two ten thousandths of an inch. So this is a good part. All right, well, let's try this again. Oh yeah, awesome. Hey, you lost it, man. You didn't lost it.